Hello everybody, it's Jatrina from the Alluring Bee Boutique. Welcome back to my design channel. So we're working on um, some brick stitch basics over on the website in the blog and today I'm going to come back and show you guys how to do tubular brick stitch. So we've talked about earlier that all brick stitch has to begin with a ladder bead base. So I went ahead and I created my eight beads long ladder. And when I have an even number of beads on my ladder stitch, if I've done it properly, both of my threads are exiting from the bottom of the first bead and the last bead. And in order to form your circle of beads, you're going to need for both threads to be exiting from the bottom like that for this technique. You possibly could do it, you know, reverse it with um, an odd count number of beads. We're going to use an even number today. So I have eight. Here's my working thread. Here's my tail thread. I am exiting from the last bead. I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go up through the first bead. And I'm going to pull that nice and slow. As I bring these beads around to form a little circular shape, just like this right here. And now I have a thread bridge at the bottom of those two beads. I need one to go through the top in order to close the beadwork. So now I'm going to come back down through that last bead. And now you can see I have thread bridges on the top and the bottom. So when I pull it all together nice and, nice and secure, my circle is completely closed. But in order to close the beadwork, we're going to step back up one more time through that very first bead. We're going to pull that all the way through. And now we are ready to be begin our first row of brick stitch. So we're exiting, and our tail thread and working thread are exiting the same bead. And because these delicates have such a big hole, I'm going to go ahead and put one more thread through just to make sure that it stays closed while I work. So I'm going to do that real quick. And now I can start my brick stitch. So here's my little tubular shape ready to go. Now, before, for this process, I want the same number of beads on each row. And in the increase video, I showed you guys how we start that by picking up two beads. I'll go ahead and use a separate color or a different color again. And instead of traditionally how we would skip over to the second thread bridge, we are going to go ahead and just go through the first thread bridge. Whoop drop a needle and this way we don't have that naturally occurring decrease on our row of brick stitch so I'm gonna pull those beads around I am going to come back up through my second bead I've got a little bit of loose something going on here I think it's my tail thread so that lets me know I should just put a stop bead so now I'm coming up through the second one. I'm going to go ahead and straighten this bead up a little bit. I'm going to come down through the first one and go back up through my second one again. And that's going to set those two beads side by side right there. And you can use your finger. You could actually put a little small dowel in here if you wanted to. Or just use your finger to try to hold the center of your tube open like this. So now I'm ready to add my next bead. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up a bead. And then I'm just going to come under that very next thread bridge, just like we did for regular brick stitch. We're just doing it in a round. Going to pull that bead into position and pass right back up through the new bead. Well, it must have come out of my thread bridge, guys. Hold on a second. So if that happens and your bead pops off, you know that you accidentally passed back under your thread bridge. So let's try it again. I'm going to go back under my next thread bridge. Pull my bead down. And this time I'm just going to make sure I'm only going up into the bead and not that thread. You can almost feel your needle hit the thread bridge if, you, if it, um, it kind of makes a little rub and you can feel it. So now I have three beads on. I'm going to roll it around just a little bit and pick up my next bead. And I'm going to come under that very next thread bridge right there. And I'm going to bring that bead around into position. And sew right back up through it. And I probably 
just so you know, when you're working this particular stitch, it would probably be a lot better if you reinforced your ladder. Um, and in the ladder stitch video, I talked to you guys about reinforcing. So now I'm coming under my next thread bridge, put on a new bead, going right back up through that bead. And I'll roll the work around just a little bit. I'm picking up another bead. And I'm going to come under that very next thread bridge right there. Bring my bead down into position and then come back up through the bead. I've got a few more to do. Because we've done six, so now I'm ready to go through the next one. And come up. I think I might have messed up. Um, let's see where I'm looking at here. So in actual, I only have one more to do because I've got seven beads on. So I'm going to pick up my next bead and I'm going to come under that very next thread bridge right there. And this first few rows are going to be a little bit more difficult to work, so bear with me. So now I'm coming under my next thread bridge here. Passing back up through the bead. So now I think I am ready to close the bead work. So now we have our eight beads on and we're exiting the last bead that we put on right here. And here is our first bead. So to complete the round, we need to stitch these two beads just like we did when we uh, stitched our ladder uh, base together. We're gonna, the thread is exiting the top of the last bead. We're going to come down through the first bead from the top to the bottom. Then we're going to go back up through the last bead from the bottom to the top. We're going to pull that nice and snug. So now we have completed this um, row of beadwork of the brick stitch on the tubular. I'm sorry, you guys. Hold on. Let me back out. So now we've completed our first row of tubular brick stitch. And we are exiting, once again, that last bead. We can just go ahead and begin our next round of brick stitch. Or we can secure the thread just a little bit more. And to secure the thread, I'm just going to go right back down through that first bead one more time plus the seed bead on the base. I'm going to come back up through the second Delica on the ladder and go back up through that first bead of my brick stitch row one more time. And now I've actually really secured my thread right there. And I'm ready to start another round. So let's do one more round. We're going to do it just like we did before because we want an even number of beads on this on each row of brick stitch. So we're going to pick up two. We are going to go under the very first thread bridge right here between beads one and two. Pull the beads down. Go up through the second bead. Come back down through that first bead. And then go up through the second bead to get into position. And that's just to secure the thread and to make the beads sit nicely beside each other. Just like that. You do not have to straighten the first bead. At this time you can work all the way around and then do some extra straightening at the end when you sew the round together. But I like to straighten the bead at the start if I can. So now I'm ready to move on to the next stitch. I'm picking up one bead. And I'm coming under that very next thread bridge. Then I step up through my new bead. We're ready for a new one. Pick up our bead. Come under the very next thread bridge. Then step up. 
I'm just going to keep doing that all the way around till I've added my total of eight beads again. Picking up the bead under the next thread bridge, stepping up. Next bead, next thread bridge, stepping up. I like to keep a count of how many beads I've got. So I've got six on, so I know that I've got two more to add. So this is the seventh bead, the next thread bridge. And finally, we're going to do the eighth bead. We're picking up the eighth bead, going under the last thread bridge, stepping up. Then closing the beadwork. So we're going to close the round by coming down through the first bead, going back up through the second bead. And that feels pretty secure. I really don't, wouldn't necessarily need to go back through them again, but because these bead holes were so big, um, I'm just going to go ahead and go down one bead and up the back bead again, just to get my thread in there nice and secure. So there we go. And that is how you do tubular brick stitch and then of course you would just start your next round the same way picking up two and going under that first thread bridge all right guys so that is it for the basics of tubular brick stitch i have another video coming out soon that's going to show you guys how to do a spiral using tubular brick stitch so stay tuned for that make sure you subscribe to my channel Head over to my blog and check out some of all that wonderful content I have over there on the website. Um, I want to thank you guys for being such great fans and thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day.